Hi, Whiskey Jason here, a whiskey from the viewpoint of American in Germany. And today I have a rare and exotic whiskey from Ireland. Pierce, Irish whiskey, the original. Pierce Loins Distillery, James Street, Dublin. Now, for all my bourbon friends out there, they go, hey, wait a second, Pierce is a distillery in Lexington, Kentucky. Yep. <laughs> Pierce Loin is Irish. He actually has a certificate as a master distiller and brewer from Ireland. 1977, he um, immigrated to the United States, founded his company Alltech, which is a um, animal food technology specialist. And he is a billionaire. Nice to be a billionaire, I guess. So he started his own distillery in Lexington. Lexington Brewing and Distilling. Now, that wasn't enough. He actually comes from Ireland. His mother or grandmother actually grew up within a stone's throw away from the church he bought. The St. James Church has um, a record going all the, back, all the way back to the 12th century. Um, this church in the Gothic style, I'm sorry, there we go, in the Gothic style was built in 1859 to 1860, but yet it was closed in 1963. Afterwards, it was a lighting store, so you could buy lamps. After that, it was actually a food warehouse. And then he bought the church for about 700,000 euros, about $800,000. Then he started renovating this. And according to who you believe, between 10 and 20 million euros were invested into making this church a house of whiskey. So, um... Even at the top, the steeple, he had to redo. It had been um, taken down in the 70s, I think, because it was not maintained. And so he actually took 18 millimeter um, safety glass, had a steel frame, and this is now called the Liberties Lantern. Liberties is the district of London where all the different all the different whiskey distillers used to be and now are coming back. For example, um, I don't even have a Teeling bottle here. Uh, Teeling is there and a few other people are also exactly there in the um, Liberties. Liberties because um, Dublin used to have a wall and in within the wall there were the, I'm just going to say the bad Brits that governed and they uh, had taxed everything, but outside of the wall, we had liberty, freedom, and that's why it's called the liberties. They could do what they wanted to, and that's why there were distilleries. So there are different Pierce, Loins, Irish whiskies. There was the Founders Reserve. There was the Distillers Reserve. There are a total of four. I forgot the third one, and I bought the original because here in this blended Irish whiskey, there is single malt made from the stills that are in the church. Yay. So it's a blended Irish whiskey, only distilled, I'm sorry, only matured in bourbon barrels. Um, and they're usually between, and there's um, grain as well as malt whiskey in here. So I think the opportunities that Pierce Loin has are just fantastic. Imagine you have your own distillery in America with your own virgin oak barrels. You use them once, maybe expand especially for a certain way, you send those same barrels over to Ireland, you put your Irish whiskey in them, and then you mature them so that you have a perfect Irish whiskey as well. Come on, that's got to be kind of cool to actually have your own barrels and have that own your own um, supply management system just for that. So um, they are expecting over, I think, 40,000 up to 50,000 visitors a year at the um, James Church Distillery. All right, this is a very, very particular nose. It's very, very much like a bourbon barrel. Um, the bourbon barrels that have been used maybe once or twice, and the wood in them actually, and with Irish whiskey, they have a very unique, a very, very unique profile. And I always call it um, grain plus lime um, plus just wood. Um, and it's not, it's actually not the, the oak that you have, but rather if I were cutting, um, let's say, maple wood, 
Um, if you can take, imagine you have your grain whiskey, you have your lime in there, and you have a maple woody smell from the dust. Imagine the dust of maple. I used to work as a cabinet maker in the States, and so we cut a lot of wood, and that would be the exactly, not the burnt maple, the burnt maple is just nasty, but this maple sawdust. Very, very pleasant nose. I like it. So. Mmm. 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 Much milder, much smoother than expected. I read somewhere between three and five-year-old whiskeys are in here. Mmm. It's very nice. It's a little bit, that has a little bit of tickling on the tongue there. It might be that single malt directly from the stills in the church would be almost be like white dog. It might just be the grain that they used. Mmm, very, very nice. A good blended Irish whiskey. Um, online in the shop, I think I paid 49 euros for this, plus another 25 euros to send it to Germany, which is um, pathetic. Um, the shipping as well as the tax were just enormous celtic whiskey shop i love that i was able to have the dingle um single malt but your shipping prices are way too high to germany masters of malt as well as the the um the whiskey exchange are a third of your prices maybe you should rethink your pricing policy there all right pierce loins distillery from ireland you're going to get a solid B for your blended whiskey. Wow. Um, I love the building. Yeah, at night and even at the church, you'd look just look at the church. You have the stills at the front. You actually have, instead of the baptism at the left and right, you have those, um, those containers. Um, very, very, very good stuff here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a C for value for money. It's not your juice. <laughs> a little tiny bit of it, it's, it is. But otherwise, you probably got it from, I'm going to say, Bush Mills. Maybe Middleton. I don't think it's Cooley. Um, it doesn't say triple distill. It doesn't say double distill on here anywhere. Also online, I couldn't find anything. It's always an undisclosed distillery in Ireland. So, batch number one, 42%. Blended Irish whiskey. Very, very nice stuff. They even have the crest here of the family. So, um, yeah. If you're in Germany and you're watching this video, send me an email. Whiskeyjason at gmail.com. I can send you samples. Of course, you have to pay for them. Um, sorry, I cannot send samples to um, America. And it's kind of difficult to send them to um, England. Um, often they're confiscated, but in um, Germany it's actually allowed and legal to send samples um, with the mail, uh, but not overseas. That's a little bit difficult. Well, thank you very much for watching. I expect great things from Pierce Loins um, in Dublin. I have not tried their um, Lexington um, distillery um, bourbon yet. Hmm, there is a bottle over here in Germany. I haven't had it yet. It's like 80 euros. I'm sure in the States it's like 12 uh, probably not. 20, 18 to 35 is what I would guess in the States, but we'll see. All right, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. Pierce, the original. Um, I gave it a B. Value for money, a C. The church, as well as the buildings, fantastic. And I'm looking forward to visiting them this summer of, summer of 2018 with my wife. And I might actually have my camera with me and interview some people or take some pictures myself. All right, Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey from the Viewpoint of American in Germany. My videos come out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And if you've listened this far, my question of the day is, is it okay to turn churches into distilleries? Is that breaking the holy law of God? Or is it okay? Abandoned churches since 1963. Is it okay to turn that into a distillery? What's your personal opinion? Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.